In this video, I'm going to walk you through uh, some examples of using the properties. And actually, what I'd like to do is present you with some problems and, and have you try them on your own. So uh, let's take a look at a few of them here. Uh, we're going to start off with some basic stuff, uh, combining like terms, uh, 2x plus 7x. I'd like it if you guys could try to add that together and see what you get. Um, x squared plus 7x. Um, about x squared plus x to the seventh and how about uh, 4x cubed plus x cubed let's try that one and oh how about 11x minus x and uh, oh this is a good one 5x plus 5x plus 5x and uh, just for good measure x to the fifth plus x to the fifth plus x to the fifth so if you want right now you can pause the video and uh, and give these a shot and then in a minute I'm going to go ahead and walk you through what my answer is So let's start with a, 2x plus 7x. Uh, these guys are known as like terms, so I'm allowed to add the 2x plus the 7x, and that gets me, um, well, I'm going to show you something kind of interesting. We could sort of use the distributive property on this. The distributive property, what we could do is we could say, well, we can take the x out in front and make that times 2 plus 7. Now I know that's probably not what you were thinking. Some of you just added the 2x and the 7x and got 9x's. 2x's and 7x's is 9x's. But technically this is another way we can do it. Um, the x is known as a GCF or a greatest common factor. I just factored it out and I still end up getting 9x just like uh, just like hopefully you did. Um, this next one no matter how I try to add these two things together, they're not going to add together. x squared plus 7x, they're not like terms. Here's 7x's and here's 1x squared. There's no way we can put those together and get, get 8x squared. We can't get 8x cubed. It's none of those. So this guy is already as simplified as it can possibly be. And uh, in the future, maybe I'll just abbreviate that with a simp. Um, x squared plus x to the seventh. Aha! This looks like two things I can add together. But no, I cannot. Um, because this variable is to a different power than this variable, um, we're not allowed to add them together. So this guy is already as simplified as it can possibly be. Now here, this x cubed and this x cubed, they're legitimately similar terms or like terms. So I can go ahead and add these together. Now what this means is I have 4x cubed here and I have 1x cubed here so put them together that gets me 5x cubed. Another way I can look at it is that I can factor out the x cubed as though I was doing the distributive property and that gets me x cubed times 4 plus 1 and again that gets me 5x cubed and hopefully you got that on your own. Uh, again, 11x minus x. It'd be real easy to make the mistake of assuming that this just gets you 11, because look, you're subtracting x minus x, but no. Um, this is 11x's and this is 1x. So the way we should really think of it is, is 11x minus 1x. And again, if we factored out that x, we'd get 11 minus 1, and that gets us 10x. So, uh, uh, and yet another way to look at this is 11x's minus 1x gets me 10x's. This guy here, 5x plus 5x plus 5x, I'm allowed to add those together. They're like terms. And here's 5x's, 5 more x's, 5 more x's, that gets me 15 x's. Again, I could write that out. I could have just factored out the x and uh, done x times 5 plus 5 plus 5. So what I'm doing here is sort of the distributive property backwards. This guy's interesting. Um, we have all different, um, well they're all powers, but they all have the same exponent. So I have 1x to the fifth and another x to the fifth and another x to the fifth. That gets me 3x to the fifth powers. All right. 
Um, let's move on. Let's try some other stuff. So this time around, let's try some multiplication stuff. So here's a, let's try uh, 2x times 7x. And we'll try, um, that will start you off nice and slow and easy. And how about x squared times 7x? And um, how about 11x times negative x? Ooh, that's a negative x. Uh, D, uh, let's try uh, 5x times 5x times 5x and uh, x to the fifth times x to the fifth. Oops, let's make that a little prettier. x to the fifth times x to the fifth. Um, also, I'm going to throw a little bit more in there. Let's throw in some challenging ones. How about 2x squared times 3x cubed times 4 x to the, uh, just for giggles, we'll make that a 5. Okay, and then how about this one? How about negative 6x? Put that in parentheses. And we'll multiply that times uh, x to the 6th. And one last one for good measure. Um, let's try how about negative 5x to the fourth raised to the third power. Okay, that's some pretty challenging stuff. Let's see what you guys can do with these. And in a minute, I'll go ahead and pause it. And in a minute, I'll go ahead and I'll write out the answers. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the commutative property of multiplication to move the 2 times the 7 and the x times the x. And that gets me 14 x squared. Um, here I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, again I'll use commutative property. So this is the same as 7 times x times x squared. And I'm going to remind you that that x squared is just x times x. So essentially what I have here is uh, Right, that is an equal sign. Essentially, I have 7 times 3x's multiplied together, so that's 7x cubed. This guy was 11x times negative x. That is the same as 11x times negative 1 times x. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of the associative property and throw away the parentheses. Everything's being multiplied together, so for that reason I'm allowed to throw away the parentheses. I'll use the commutative property to move that negative 1 to the front, and then times x times x. And in the end I get negative 11x squared. There we go. This guy, again, will use commutative property, so it's 5 times 5 times 5 and then times x times x times x and that gets us something that in the future I hope you'll know pretty well is the, what's the cube of 5 that's going to be 5 uh, cubed uh, times x cubed and that gets us 125 x cubed here x to the fifth times x to the fifth times x to the fifth that's, I can't even write this out, I don't have the space, but it's going to be 5x's times 5x's times 5x's. That'll get me 15 total x's multiplied together. Okay, Not 15 x's added together, but multiplied, so that gets me x to the 15. Here, again with the x's, it, I'm going to first of all rewrite this using the commutative property. 2 times 3 times 4, and then times x squared times x cubed times x to the fifth and we'll multiply these guys 6 times 4 is 24 and I'd like to write out all the x's but I don't have the space this is 2x's times 3x's so that's 5x's times 5 more x's that's going to be x to the tenth if you wrote out all those x's you would find you get 10 x's multiplied together over here we get uh, this will be negative 1 times 6 times x times 
I'll use the associative property and throw away the parentheses. So that gets me x to the sixth. And again, I have six x's multiplied times one x. So that gets me negative six times uh, x to the seventh power. There will be seven x's multiplied together. And finally, check this out, the third power of all this stuff. What that means is negative five x to the fourth times itself three times. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure this stuff out. You just have to know the basics. Um, PEMDAS uh, uh, and the properties, commutative, associative. Uh, and what's the definition of an exponent? It, it, this three means multiply times itself three times. Now, we'll use the associative property to throw away all the parentheses. And that gets us negative 5x to the fourth, negative 5x to the fourth times negative 5x to the fourth. And then we'll use the commutative property to put all the fives together. Negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. And then we'll multiply that times x to the fourth times x to the fourth times x to the fourth. Really getting squeezed in the corner here. Negative 5 times itself three times is going to be, um, this is going to be a negative. 125 negative times negative times negative and then x to the fourth times itself that's 4x's times 4x's times 4x's that'll be x to the twelfth if you knew that one give yourself a pat on the back you are a fantastic math student hopefully um, this helps you to understand a little bit better why the commutative and associative properties are so important and PEMDAS as well um, uh, especially as we get to more complicated algebra problems in the future.